What are you making for dinner tonight? I have the perfect idea for you. Steak, garlic bread, and sauteed greens. You can stop at the store on the way home from work, pick up three items, and you'll be all set for your steakhouse dinner. The key to this really super easy meal is a delicious garlic oil. It doesn't really matter what these look like too much, so you can crush them for peeling them. But what you want to end up with are nice thin slices. Put it into a pot with about three tablespoons of oil. Glug, glug, glug and put it over medium heat, and the flavor's really gonna infuse into the oil. See how it's bubbling? Now you can turn it off and just let it sit. I wanna rinse these, because a little bit of that moisture is going to help them cook. The stems are kind of thick, so you wanna cook them separately, and then just cut the leaves into pieces. It doesn't really matter how big or small they are, because Swiss chard like wilts down to basically nothing. You, you wait till you see. So that's done. Cut your bread in half lengthwise. You're making garlic bread. Brush this with the garlic oil, and then it's gonna be ready. You can put it in whenever you're ready. You just put this under the broiler for a few minutes, a minute or two, just until it's golden. I'm gonna put this on to start getting hot because I'm gonna cook the steak, and I want my pan to be nice and hot. My all-time favorite cut of steak is skirt steak, and that's what this is. It's kind of crazy and long. So I'm gonna cut it into four pieces so that it fits into the, my big pan that I have heating over there on the back. Also, you'll notice sometimes it's thinner at one end than the other. Cutting it into pieces really helps it cook evenly. Season it. It's not as expensive as some of those other steaks like a porterhouse or a T-bone, but it's just so delicious. Take a tiny bit of this oil, about a teaspoon of oil from your garlic oil and just add it to your hot pan. And as I've said before, if your pan is hot, if it's really hot, it'll smoke, but don't worry about it. Just add your steak right in there, and you'll get a really nice sear. I mean, it was a little too hot. I admit it, but that's life. It's not gonna ruin it, but it might make it a little hard to clean the pan. This will take five to seven minutes to cook. Depends on how well you want it done, and obviously how thick your pieces are and how hot your pan was. My pan, as I pointed out, was extremely hot. And this thin piece is ready to turn already. These aren't quite ready. But, may I point out, it has a beautiful sear on it. That's because the pan was actually really hot. Turn and cook for another couple minutes. Okay. When your steak is done, you want to take it out and let it rest. Now, to the same pan, you add the remaining oil and all of those pieces of golden garlic. But quickly, add your shard stems and cook it for a couple minutes just to start getting them soft. You don't really want the garlic to get much darker than that because those are already really nice and golden. Say one or two minutes and then add the shard leaves. So remember they have a little bit of that water clinging to the leaves. When you cover it, it'll create steam in there and just cook them really nice. You can tent this with foil just to keep it warm while you're finishing your dinner. While the squish chart is finishing, put your garlic bread underneath your broiler. See that? See that bubbling? Bubbling equals deliciousness. You may say, my children don't like greens. My children don't like greens either. My daughter is starting to like sauteed kale, which is very exciting. So are you gonna go out and get the ingredients to make this tonight? I think you should.